all of a sudden now you have six acres that you're trying to grow food in. <laughs> it escalates out of control very quickly. All right, I am going to quickly walk out of the rain. It is sprinkling and water and cameras don't mix. Good morning, beautiful people. I just caught a raindrop right in the eyeball. All right, one of the benefits to having a high tunnel. Ah, what a nice sound. I have a place I can go work out of the weather, but still kind of in the weather. Kind of drippy in here. You can sure feel that condensation. It's, it's very humid in here. It almost feels like a greenhouse, if you will. Having a high tunnel has been kind of a weird mental adjustment. I forget that I have a place I can work and as I'm watching the rest of the garden start to go dormant for the winter, in here everything's just love and life. And just from walking from the house to here, it is quite comfortable in here. Quite comfortable. It's warm. It just feels good. This is this is so cool. I wish we had gotten a greenhouse sooner, but with all things, the time wasn't right. So, I actually wanted to check on something. Ha! They're doing great. Okay, so yesterday, if you saw yesterday's video, we had a very hard frost. It got down into the 20s. Um, I mean, that's a freeze, not a frost. That is a freeze. Well, I was out doing my nightly chores and I go walking by one of the beds up there, our no-till no experiment, and I saw all of my artichokes that we grew this year, this one was actually from last year, walked by and it was like, those are gonna die. And then it dawned on me, it was like, hey, why don't I try just transplanting them into the greenhouse and seeing if they survive? Well, here it is, you know, two days later, they're all doing great, they're loving life. They don't even look like they knew they got moved. So, I'll let them grow in here. We'll see if they do a little bit better in here. They just never really did good where they were at. And I know I've seen the comments, hey, how are the plants in the greenhouse? Well, I'll let you guys be the judge. They look great. The permanent chard is doing good. All of the cabbage and I think there's some broccoli. Everything looks great. I had gotten some giant grow bags for up potting the citrus. And I started doing that the other day, but it was, it was so blasted hot in here. It was like, you know what? I'll do this on a cooler day. I think for today, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna work on getting another bed ready, probably on this side. I'm gonna move everything. It's the one problem I'm seeing. Because it's out of the rain in here, I have a tendency to just start bringing stuff in because it's out of the rain and stuff's starting to pile up. Like I need to get my saw out of here, I need to get the ladder out of here, stuff like that. Um, the screen, the, the little compost sifter, that, that can go in here, but Hogging up room. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move some of this compost out of the way. I'm gonna get the tiller fired up. I'm gonna rototill a spot right here. We've never actually grown in this spot right here. Our tomato bed actually started at about right here. And all this was just even six months ago was grass. After we got the tomatoes going on, we put a, a billboard tarp down and smothered out all the grass. And it did a great job, like there's hardly any grass. Um, and then I've rototilled this portion right here that's currently being hogged up by my chop saw. So I think I'm gonna move this compost kind of out of the way, just move it over, maybe bring it all down this way, till up a spot basically where the wheelbarrow and that screen are. And I'm gonna plant some various things that uh, we haven't had good luck with outside because it always bolts, like spinach. We've not had good luck with spinach, so maybe we'll have good luck in here. This isn't a bad place to work, getting to listen to the rain like this.
I want to show you how many of these grubs I got. Look at that. Tons of them. It's like half a pound of grubs right there. Chickens are going to love that. Pardon me, I'm easily amused. Well, if you guys can hear me over the rain, it's coming down pretty good. Got that all torn up. Really what I would like to do is I'd like to start transitioning this space to where I don't ever have to rototill, which I will do. The reason we haven't done it so far is no till takes a lot of input. You've got to have a lot of compost and a lot of just stuff to add to your soil to start building soil. And really, if you talk to the people who've been doing it a while, they'll tell you really after like year four or five is when you really start reaping the benefits of layering stuff to build soil. Doing this, we get a garden this year. So this has worked out for us pretty good. We're gonna keep doing it for a little bit. Now that we've reached that point where the soil's good, we've built a lot of, we've added a lot of compost. Now we can start bringing in spent hay and leaves and whatever else you've got and we can really start building soil. All right, I'm gonna grab a shovel, see if I can find a rake. I don't know if I have a rake in here. I'll start building this into, I think I can get a couple good beds and then I'll see what kind of seeds I got. Alright, so something that just dawned on me, I hadn't thought about, a lot of seeds need a certain soil temperature to germinate. Uh, it might actually be too cold to germinate seeds if I direct sow them. So I think I'm going to start them in a tray indoors. Um, I can stick them in there in our little bathroom seed starting area. That way I can monitor them and then once they sprout, I'll stick them out here and see how stuff does. Plus all the seeds are inside. Alright, I'm going to go feed the bowl full of grubs that's just wriggling around. It's intriguing, sorry. Like I said, easily amused. I'm gonna go feed that to the chickens and head inside, have some lunch, and I'll get a seed tray and I'll figure out what I'm starting in there. Hi, Sister Roo. Did you wake up from your nap? Hey, turn around. You gonna show people your dress? <laughs> Without falling over? You gonna show it off? You gonna show people? She's like, no, you're filming me. Can we show? all the animals. She's oh, like, are you getting embarrassed? She's getting embarrassed. <laughs> all right, so I came in here and I was sitting here with Buggy as she wakes up from her nap and we were talking and Meg, she said, why don't we just start some in a tray and direct seed some and see what we do better. Yeah. So I did notice it is like the other night, last night, night before last, we had that really hard freeze. There was a sweet potato that has been living in one of the citrus plants. It was a vine that had like climbed out of, it, it was last year when I grew sweet potatoes in buckets. Yeah, I think so. So one had, one of the vines had climbed out, landed on the citrus, put down roots and grew a spud. Well, I noticed that it's been fine in the greenhouse until we had that hard freeze and the sweet potato vine turned to mush. It looks like someone took a blowtorch to it and burned it. So that means it's getting cold enough to freeze in that greenhouse. Yep. So this is a learning experience for us. I know that there there's only to a point that you can grow in a greenhouse like that unless you heat it, we're this learning. This was mostly just to extend our cool weather crops anyway. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get this so we can grow watermelon in January. No. So what are you making? I'm making a chicken dip, so this is just... What'd, chick you, what'd you call it? Chicken dip? Watch your language, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> we dip it with crackers and stuff. So it's just chicken, cheese, mayonnaise, and then today I'm actually putting leftover garlic scape sauce from last mm, night that in good. it. Usually I put like spinach and herbs and spices. But. It's kind of like a chickeny spinach dip. Yeah. It's really, really good. We can polish off an entire box of crackers Easily, or something yeah. with this. See, she's already ready yeah. to eat it. I'll put this in the oven and it'll get all ooey gooey and cheesy and then we'll eat it. That'd be a good, good lunch. Yep. 
Egg salad. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be digging in right away because yeah. that, that's gonna be like lava. Yeah. Various crackers. I could make crackers, but it would take me forever to make enough crackers for all of us to eat. So mm. I buy crackers. What is it? Pick your battles. Pick your battles. Exactly. I don't um. make crackers. I don't make tortillas. Except for rare occasion. And I might make flatbread every now and then. Yeah. And that's pretty good, but it's a lot. To make enough for the whole house, it's more uh, time efficient yes. to just buy crackers. Yes. Lunch was good. We all uh, annihilated that little <laughs> casserole dish of chicken dip okay. stuff. I made it for it to be eaten. Hey, mission accomplished. All right, I'm gonna pick out what seeds that I want to plant. Really, it's like salad greens, you know, the stuff that you want in winter. Salad, uh, I'll probably do some more spinach. Um, radishes, because those are always a crowd pleaser because they grow so fast. Let's see, what else? Carrots. Carrots. I think that was it. All right, I'll do my best. We have a lot of seeds and it's very easy to go, ooh, I'll get this seed packet and this seed packet. And then you go out there to plant one bed or one seed tray and you have like 10 packets of seeds and it's like, I can't plant all this. And then all of a sudden now you have six acres that you're trying to grow food in. <laughs> it escalates out of control very quickly. Uh, how about French breakfast? That sounds interesting. Purple carrots are my absolute favorite. Okay, what kind of salad do you like? Do you like this kind? I like butter and head, yeah. Okay, we'll do a butter. Okay, it happened again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's how it goes. I'm just gonna get like one or two seed packets. I got eight of them. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go direct seed some of these and I'll leave the dirt outside so I'll rig up a, a, a seed tray out there. I'll bring it in. your fingers we'll see what happens I have a sneaky suspicion the soil temperature is too cold for germinating some of this stuff but that's why we're growing some more stuff in the seed tray that I started I'm gonna take this inside stick it in our seed starting area and I guess that's it that's it for the experiment all right I don't think the camera's fogging too bad all right I'm gonna give these a drink real quick and turn on one of these lights we'll be good to go All right, so technically this doesn't need to be under a light just yet. The lights actually provide a little bit of heat, so I don't have to dig out my seed heating mat, wherever it is. I think it's actually on the shelf in here. But this light, it's just a little bit warm with the thermal blanket thing on. It actually does get pretty warm in there. I'll just leave the light on because it's more of a reminder for me. Hey, there's seeds in there. Don't forget about them. If I turn it off, I guarantee you I'll forget about them. There we go. All set.
dinner is ready. Good old beef and broccoli. Yep. Haven't had this meal in a hundred years. <laughs> it's been like but forever. It's been a long time. <laughs> she was, we're walking out to milk the cow. She goes, what am I cooking for dinner? And we walk by the, the broccoli. I was like, how about beef and broccoli? She's yeah. like, yeah. Since we need to eat all this broccoli. <laughs> Hey, we actually grew broccoli. We did. And we didn't lose all of it to, you know, flowers. Bulking, no. And I like I tasted this. It's not bitter. It's fine. It kind of it kind of froze a little bit the other morning, but it doesn't look like it hurt it. Yeah. All right. Let's eat. All right. We don't have this many days like today very often. Knock on wood. Maybe this winter will be different. Yeah. But you want to take a bath? You want to take a bath? You look like a little old lady with your sweater and your dress. So cute. You look so cute in your little dress and sweater. Anyways, yeah. Luckily the weather isn't nasty like this all the time. We can deal with it. Yep. Glad I got stuff planted. Glad I got seeds started. We'll try it out. We'll see if it works. It might just be too cold in there. I might be a little too late. Uh, the soil temperature might just be too low for anything to really happen, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna wrap it up right here. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.